I've never been as happy as I am with you. I'd die without you. Is that true? a full page nude photo of a girl. This is testing whether I'm a replicant or a lesbian, Mr. Deckard. Just answer the questions, please. You show it to your husband. He likes it so much he hangs it on the bedroom wall. I wouldn't let him. Why not? I should be enough for him. One more question. You're watching a stage play. The banquet is in progress. The guests are enjoying an appetizer of raw oysters. The entree consists of boiled dog. You don't know, do you? No, what? That you're not. At least you suspect it. It's been on my mind. It normally takes between 20 to 30 questions to spot a replicant. Do you know how many it took you? More than 100? 111. Does that make me special, Mr. Deckard? It's too harder to catch. I always wanted to be in the movies. When I was little, I thought for sure that one day I'd be a big, big star. Or maybe just beautiful. Beautiful and rich, like the women on TV. I had a lot of dreams. And I guess you could call me a real romantic because I truly believe that one day they'd come true. So I dreamt about it for hours. And as the years went by, I learned to stop sharing this with people. They said I was dreaming, but back then I believed it wholeheartedly. So whenever I was down, I would just escape into my mind, into my other life, where I was someone else. It made me happy to think that all these people just didn't know yet who I was going to be. One day they'd see. <laughs>